The Israeli company Green Arava is responsible for what seems to be an impossible mission, the agricultural production in extreme conditions. I'm talking of an area that had never been uh, opened up to production. What we get here is a land, a very dry land, but there is a river that we build near it, agriculture area of 4,000 hectares, and on all this area we are going to plant maize. You see, first and foremost, the main purpose of this project was to ensure that it, uh, we are able to secure the country in terms of food security. What we have uh, seen in the last two, three years of uh, this cooperation, that Kenya can actually change its fortunes uh, from a food insecure country to food surplus country where we can export food. We can no longer continue to depend on rain fed growing of our crops. We must move to irrigation fed. This is the only way we will be able to sustain our food security needs. Green Arva is operating in the most difficult areas of the world, such as in the company's flagship project in the wild Galana region in Kenya. The maize that uh, we have grown uh, in Galana is now being uh, used to save lives. This is an intelligent and well-planned agriculture that starts from finding the areas suitable for growing crops via planning, land surveys and topography to hydraulical analysis, design and field implementation. We have to analyze the soil, we have to analyze what is the right grains to put, we have to know what is the draining performance of the area. There's a lot of work to do in order to optimize the project. In Kenya, we require only one company, that company, Green Alava, give Green Alava 627,000 acres and then they will be able to feed all the Kenyans. The current project of Green Arava in East Africa reveals also another side of agriculture. For the next three months, we shall also give out 90,000 uh, bags of rice. We are equally going to give around 30,000 bags of beans. People-wise, it has a good influence because this area was neglected. It was nothing. And now, in the season, we give work to around between 800 to 1,000 workers. Since I was employed here, I get a lot of money and I, I make everything good. The community that emerged around the project became its close partner and an ultimate winner. Now, most of these people, when they got their salary, they just build their own houses. Today, the company or the project has really made the life change. Green Arava knows the profound knowledge that helps produce agriculture in the most impossible conditions has to be shared on. We're taking all our knowledge, we deliver it here. More than this, we take a talent group from here to Israel and teach them what is proper agriculture, what is the proper irrigation. We will also be having special uh, trainers from Israel coming to Kenya to train our students here locally. And we have to in invest in training the young people in this country to understand the importance of farming. Green Arava is the only company in the world to carry out such trainings in the company's own farms, where experts are trained to lead projects across the globe, even after Green Arava has finished its part in them. No bad weather can stop the Israelis. The world media has recently unveiled the winning strategy of Green Arava. The Israeli technologies of Green Arava allow harvest twice a year. Green Arava has succeeded where many others tried and failed. Today, the company's name is a synonym for food security. And once we are able to roll it out, you are going to feed not only Kenya, but Africa. It becomes a success story across the entire world.